Imagine this. For months, Voyager 1, a spacecraft older than the Internet itself, went completely silent. 15 billion miles from Earth. No signal, no data, just a silence so deep it felt as if the universe itself had drawn a curtain. Scientists feared the worst. Had our furthest explorer finally died in the dark? And then, when hope was nearly gone, a whisper returned. But it wasn't a routine status update or a system reboot. What Voyager 1 sent back cracked open an illusion we'd always clung to. That the space beyond the sun was a simple void. What Voyager revealed wasn't emptiness. It was structure, movement, pressure, boundaries. It had crossed to the other side, and what it found there was nothing like anyone expected. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause in 2012, it became the first human-made object to truly leave the sun's protective bubble. Many believed it would drift into silence, passing into a dark, empty stillness. But in April 2024, after months of garbled transmissions, Voyager came back online. What it began sending shook the foundations of astrophysics. Out there beyond the heliopause, space isn't quiet. It's humming. A low-frequency oscillation, steady and rhythmic, fills the void like the pulse of a living thing. Voyager's plasma wave instrument detected an ambient energy whispering through the interstellar medium. But it wasn't only a hum. The spacecraft also recorded density spikes, bursts of pressure like shock waves left behind by ancient supernovae. It was as if Voyager had stumbled into layers of memory, zones carved by stellar deaths that happened thousands, maybe millions, of years ago. Interstellar space isn't an empty corridor. It's a swirling ocean of invisible currents and echoes, and Voyager is our tiny sailboat, navigating blind through weather we never knew existed. As it pushed deeper, the probe's instruments began painting an image no telescope ever could. A three-dimensional structure hidden in darkness. Its magnetometer picked up a sharp misalignment in the galactic magnetic field, twisting violently against the sun's field, like tectonic plates grinding together. This wasn't random. It was patterned and structured. The magnetic turbulence Voyager recorded hinted at a magnetic skeleton threading the galaxy, vast filaments of force shaping where matter flows and where it does not. Some regions deflect cosmic rays, others funnel them in streams like radiation rivers in the dark. Voyager crossed one such threshold, a sudden spike in high-energy particles accelerated by distant phenomena, slamming into the probe at near-light energies. These weren't gradual changes. They were abrupt and sharp, like stepping from one biome into another. We used to think the sun's heliosphere faded gently into space. Voyager showed us otherwise. It's not a shoreline. It's a cliff. And beyond it, the rules change. In late 2023 the mission looked finished. Signals were garbled, data unreadable. Systems designed in the 1970s seemed to be failing. But NASA engineers refused to give up. They traced the issue to a corrupted memory chip, likely the result of a cosmic ray hit, the very kind of phenomenon Voyager was studying. Using commands that took 22 hours to travel each way, they rerouted Voyager's software into backup memory. It was like performing brain surgery through a time machine with tools from a different era. And it worked. In April 2024 Voyager reawakened. First its engineering telemetry, then its magnetometer, then its plasma and cosmic ray detectors. One by one, the instruments came back online, each reactivation gifting us something new, first-hand readings from the inky black between stars. Voyager wasn't merely restored. It was reborn. And with it, so was our window into the deepest truths of the galaxy. What Voyager is sending now is more than numbers. It's a blueprint, a living map of interstellar space. 
Scientists are using its data to begin charting a kind of galactic GPS. Not for planets, but for radiation zones, magnetic boundaries, and invisible cloudlets. Voyager has passed through at least two interstellar clouds, denser regions of gas and plasma rippling like fog banks, and in each recorded different conditions, temperatures, and magnetic alignments. Moving from one to another is like crossing continents with invisible borders. One day these maps might guide future astronauts through safe corridors, using natural magnetic shielding to dodge deadly cosmic rays. Even more profound, the structures Voyager traces could help explain how stars are born, how filaments and pressure zones funnel material and seed future suns. Voyager is not just a probe, it's a cartographer, and the path it traces may unlock the galaxy's very anatomy. We once believed interstellar space was uniform, a neutral expanse of particles randomly dispersed. Voyager is revealing something drastically different, an atmosphere with pressure zones, eddies, and storms. Its plasma wave instruments have recorded sudden changes in temperature, density, and energy levels, as if the spacecraft were flying through pockets of invisible mist, each with its own climate. These are not chaotic fluctuations but structured, layered phenomena, distinct boundaries between interstellar cloudlets shaped by long dead stars. Some regions show high magnetic pressure, others heavy radiation, and some emit low-frequency hums that sound like distant thunder. In Earth's terms, this is like discovering ocean currents in a place we thought was desert. Voyager's passage through the galactic outskirts has put it face to face with the local bubble. An enormous, invisible cavity in space spanning hundreds of light years, likely carved by supernovae millions of years ago. Voyager's readings suggest it is mapping the bubble's outer edges, crossing zones where density changes abruptly and magnetic patterns distort like funhouse mirrors. These boundaries are scars. Remnants of cosmic violence written in plasma and dust that now cradle our solar system. Within these zones, Voyager appears to be catching echoes of ancient explosions, charged particles and shock waves that have taken millennia to reach this point. These are the bones of stellar death, shaping the space around us. Voyager is moving through a graveyard of stars, and with each measurement it decodes the galaxy's forgotten past. One of the eeriest revelations is that silence does not exist out there. While our telescopes see nothing in these regions, Voyager hears them. Its plasma wave sensors have picked up continuous low-frequency oscillations, steady resonances that change slightly as the spacecraft travels, as if traversing new zones of vibration. These are neither radio emissions nor simple background noise. They are more like the resonance of the interstellar medium itself, a symphony played across magnetic fields and plasma clouds. Some scientists speculate this hum is a signature of how the galaxy organizes itself, a byproduct of gravitational interactions or magnetic turbulence. Others are more cautious, wondering whether this persistent oscillation is something we lack the language to describe. Whatever it is, Voyager is not only detecting it, it is traveling through it, becoming part of the song, and we on Earth are hearing it for the first time. Voyager's data is transforming our view of the galaxy from a flat map of stars into a living terrain with mountains and valleys made not of rock but of radiation and force. Every variation in cosmic ray intensity, every shift in particle density, every twist in the magnetic field, these are landmarks. Voyager's measurements are helping scientists sketch the first real topography of interstellar space. Highlands of dangerous radiation, valleys where cosmic rays flow gently, walls where ancient supernovae piled matter into invisible ridges. This frontier cartography could reveal corridors of low radiation to guide future probes, or zones where matter accumulates and new stars begin to form. Space isn't just a backdrop. It's an active, sculpted landscape, breathing, shifting, alive. Voyager 1 was launched not to find life or to conquer planets, but to explore quietly, patiently, faithfully. It was humanity's whisper into the void. Now, decades later, that whisper has become a revelation. 
Space is not the empty silence we imagined. It's layered. It's structured. It breathes. It remembers. Aging, half-deaf, and powered by 1970s technology, Voyager is the only thing we've ever built brave enough to cross that line and keep reporting back. Its discoveries are peeling back the illusion that we ever truly understood where we live. The heliosphere that cradled us is not just a boundary, it's a cocoon. Beyond it lies an environment shaped by ancient explosions, invisible currents, and magnetic scars left by stars long dead. What Voyager has found isn't fantasy. It's not alien ships or wormholes. It's something more profound, the realization that we've always lived in a fragile oasis, floating in a sea far more violent, dynamic, and complex than we ever dared to imagine. Every pulse Voyager hears, every filament it maps, every variation it decodes, together they point to one truth. We were not meant to stop at the edge of our solar system. We were meant to reach further, to listen deeper, to read the story written between the stars. Fifteen billion miles away, a golden-plated messenger is still drifting, still listening, still mapping the unseen bones of the galaxy. And maybe, just maybe, it's reminding us that the real frontier was never out there. It was our need to understand. If this story hooked you, tell us in the comments what you think Voyager 1 will find next. For more updates and deep dives into discoveries like this, join us at Waves Discovery. We'll be here the next time the universe whispers.